am up early. David is headed to work and I am here with the dogs. Bertha is eating and the boys are outside. They just got done eating. And we are taking Bertha to the vet today. She has been kind of hacking like a huh, and I've kind of looked it up and asked some people and we're just really not sure. She's had hacking problems in the past. They sent us with a folder of a history, a medical history that they've done. And she's had hacking or coughing before. So I am bringing her to the vet today to have them check her and see if they can give her something to help soothe it. I've been giving her coconut oil and honey, thinking that maybe that'll help with the hacking but it really honestly has not so I'm taking her to the vet and I'm gonna do an update on how she's doing and we're gonna hang out with the dogs today because I have day off because I'm going to the vet with the dog and you get to hang out with me so stay tuned I need to take my glasses off and get ready because this is this is just what I look like in the morning you guys this is just it isn't it nice? All right, stay tuned. Bye. All right, we are headed to the vet. Come on. Come on. We're going in this car. There we go. That was graceful, big girl. That was graceful, big girl. Can we go into the vet? Oh, you're so sweet. Okay. All right, you guys. We are headed to the vet. And I will keep you up to date. And we're at the vet. It's really pretty here. Some cute little cat pictures. They did a fecal on Miss Bertha. And they're gonna decide if they want to do a chest x-ray because of her coughing. So we'll keep you guys up to date. Bertha's not talking to me because I let her poke them. She said, yeah, let them poke you. Yeah. See, she's good. She's doing a good girl. Hey you guys, we are back from the vet. Bertha is running around here somewhere in the backyard so you might see them as we go. But I have a list of the things that Bertha had done today at the vet. She had a total of her ears swabbed, her fecal swabbed, so you know, that swabbed. Um, they did a urinalysis, so they got some urine from her and spun it down. They did a chest x-ray. They also did her eye. She has a very um, foggy piece in her eye that they wanted to dye and see what was going on there. So she had a handful of things done. So the results of those things are... Her fecal was negative, no worms or anything like that. She had her ear swabbed. She does have an infection in both of her ears that she's going home with drops. Her chest x-ray came back good. There's no fogginess, there's no tumors. Her heart looked good, chest x-ray looked great. Her, what did I say, fecal, ears, her urinalysis came back fine, came back great, and her eye came back fine. It was normal. He just thinks just with old age, her eyes are getting a little bit foggy, but he wanted to run the test just to make sure. So everything except for, he does say that she has a very sensitive trachea. He's not sure if it was a collapsed trachea or whatnot, but he gave her a shot to help with the inflammation and should ha make her hacking that she does kind of go down. She also sent us with two antibiotics. She sent us with, for her cough, one tablet by mouth three times a day. That should help her with that cough. Um, and then antibiotic dexacycline 300 milligrams we do it once by mouth daily until gone he also thinks that it's either a collapsed trachea or it's an upper respiratory infection so he thinks that once we do this round of antibiotics and the cough 
tablets that it should subside if it does come back it might be more of the trachea and that might just kind of come and go he's hoping it might just be an upper respiratory infection and it should kind of go away she didn't have heartworm her heart looked good um, he didn't hear anything you know abnormal when he was listening to her so he thinks that she's doing wonderful the poor girl was poked and prodded and she kept a smile on her face the whole time he said she was super sweet and wonderful and of course there is an airplane flying over oh it's Bay Flight we have Bay Flight located close to us so hopefully let's pray for them that maybe they're just doing a test run so anyway Bertha did wonderful she is just hanging out with her brother she it, I feel so bad for the poor girl she was um, given up at Miami Dade down in Miami you know back months ago and she's just been poked and prodded and poked and prodded again when she moved to Big Dog Ranch and then now she's with us and hopefully she won't have to be poked nor prodded much longer. I'm really glad that everything, I was really nervous about her cough and my fingers are so crossed that this medication will help. Since we've been out we actually ran to Tractor Supply and did some errands so she hasn't really been coughing so I don't know if that injection work can work that quickly um, but it seems to have you know she really hasn't been coughing right she's just wanting to snuggle she is a leaner she will lean into David or I and she just wants to be petted and she'll hit your your arm to get her to pet but uh, yeah the vet was wonderful such 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 a nice guy um, he really wanted to just do a once over on her just so she gets caught up here and we make sure that we you know dot our i's and cross our t's and we don't miss anything because she's an old girl and we want her to last a lot longer right Berta? hi there, Berta. oh hi she likes being in the videos so on another side note we went to tractor supply and got for health dog food we've been feeding for health for a couple of months now and we really really like it we do the salmon and potato I'm pretty sure it's potato um, dog food and I think it's we were feeding blue buffalo and it's $51 for a 30 pound bag of blue buffalo which I've fed razor who is eight for years and years and years and years and years and I've really liked it well Kano this one has had some anal gland issues so we s switched him from a grain free dog food to a not grain free dog food because they said if it's too rich it can cause um, the fecal things so and if it's a poultry item it can also cause um, anal gland issues so we stirred away from the poultry and the grain free and are feeding a for health salmon and potato blend and it's a 35 pound bag for I got two 35 pound bags and they're five dollars off from the 21st I think to the 25th at tractor supply for sixty four dollars I was buying a 30 pound bag for fifty one dollars now we are getting, what is it, 60, 70 pounds of dog food for $65. Really great, great sale. I'm like, I'll go back and buy 16 bags to feed these big dogs. So they all get the same food. They get all actually eat the same amount. They get a cup and a half of dog food in the morning and at night. So yeah, now we have three dogs, Kano. Razor and Miss Bertha the Foster, which we absolutely love. I love her so much. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on what's going on with her. She's acclimating really, really well. I'm glad that the vet today went so great. Her and the dogs are playing and loving on each other and they're not fighting too much and they're really enjoying our backyard with our fence. So today, the rest of my day is going to be just hanging out 
with the dogs. I have to clean out my car and just clean up the house. So I might let you guys see a little bit of what I'm doing so I can make a good vlog and get it up for you so you can watch it. I'm not sure if you can see them. They're running around. We have a bunch of that bamboo back there. And they like to go behind it because it's fun, I guess. So that's what they're doing. Bertha, I don't know if you can see her through the screen. She's laying down. She's like, oh, it's nap time. All right, let me go clean out my car, go hang out with these crazy dogs, and I'll get back with you soon. Hey, guys. I have my hair up. I've done laundry, cleaned my house, cleaned the porch, trimmed the dog's nails, and I'm thinking about giving them a bath. So we have had an eventful day. I've been doing laundry, taking care of the dogs, doing all that really fun stuff. So I'm gonna give you some of them playing in the backyard to entertain you. And then, yeah, so hope you enjoy. Enjoyed the video today I sure did I am glad that Bertha is doing so wonderful please like and subscribe we put out videos a couple times a week and have a good day see you soon the sun's in my eyes bye